choke, no joke. Yeah. It's choke, no joke. Let's go. Choke, no joke. Chicken choke, no joke. Choke, no joke. Nigga choke, no joke. I had to start from me and why I even decided or how I even got here, sitting here talking to y'all. So, you know, I used to I write. I love to write. I'm riding my ass off in my room. I'm like 13 years old. Go show my pops to get to the, oh, you're so much this wonderful daughter type thing, you know? So I go to the pops. My pops is like, yo, you really can write. So from there, I basically, it became a passion of mine. And then I left home, 15, bounced from home on some, I'm gonna be a dancer, hip hop dancer or whatever. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I left home basically to, to be a, a hip hop dancer. I started dancing for Big Daddy Kane. You know, I went for the audition. I didn't know nothing about dancing really. Started dancing for him. We do soul training, party machine, all those things that was back then that was uh, hot to do or whatever. I get fired. I started dancing for other people like LL, Joe to see, all these people. And what would you get fired for? Because, okay, this is a crazy it's a crazy story, but to make it like quick and brief, one of the girls got her her, her we had a three girl, it was three girls and two guys that was dancing. And one of the girls, her husband got shot the night before we were supposed to fly out to LA. So the routine that we had with the three girls had to get all changed up. To um do the show. So I basically got fired because <laughs> I told him I was trying to coordinate what, now I'm a choreographer, I'm on, I'm on the set and I'm trying to choreograph all the dances or whatever. And it's coming out, but the girl wasn't really kicking over my head right. <laughs> it sounds so stupid, but she wasn't kicking over my head right. He calls me off the stage like, it's not working out, it's not working out. So I'm looking at him like, yo, you know, I'm talking back to him, so I'm getting too loud. So he was like, you're fired. And I'm looking at him like, you're firing me? You're firing me? And you want me to get back on the stage? You're firing me? Off the, for what? So I'm looking at him like he's not. He's like, get out of here. Okay. So. Did you finish the show? Yeah, I finished it so I could get my check. But I was missing out on the Apollo check in, in, in New York City. When we, when we was coming back, we were supposed to go to, to do the Apollo in New York City. That never happened because I got fired. And that's what it was. <laughs> you was dancing for who at that time? That was Big Daddy Kane. Kane fired you? Kane fired me. Big time. You know Kane's a dancer. He wants shit. Right? Yeah. That nigga was doing splits his damn self. Yeah, it was. It was a little. That's you know. We it's so funny because we saw each other. I think about a couple times after that fact, and it was all love. It was just like you know, everybody was on to doing different things. But you know, I danced for LL Cool J. I get this other gig and done plenty of videos. Heavy D and. <laughs> Rat Musk commercial. I mean, if you see this Rat Musk commercial, it's like Rat Musk. Rat Musk. Do you hear what I'm saying? What's that? It's a cologne, little cologne thing for girls. You know that little spray bullshit, Charlie. It's like Charlie. You go to Dwayne Reed, and this this thing. I swear to you, I have my mom's and my pops still got this. Uh, this item at home in the closet, the rap Mustang. Yeah. So it's, 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 like, it's like fuchsia pink and black, and it got a pink baseball cap on it. It says Rap Musk. Yeah. So I was doing commercials like that. I mean, we're talking like, from the dancing days, the dancing days alone was horrific, okay? It was like, like I'm busting my ass for eight hours straight with these girls, like a whole bunch of girls. We're dancing and titties shaking, ass shaking, and ass shaking shit for eight hours for $50. For the end of the day, like $50 for dancing my ass off, my fucking ass off, shaking that little fucking shit all over the place for $50. And that shit was like incredible to me. So I, I remember doing the Grammy show with, with LL and I'm saying to myself, he, he, he did Mama Said Knock You Out. And I'm thinking, I'm on top of the stage in the Grammys, and I'm like, oh my God. Like, this feels incredible. This feels incredible. 
You know, I didn't, I, I, I didn't know nothing about like really, in, there, was, there were no ideas in my head as like as, as far as rapping, like I'm gonna be a rapper. It was just kind of like, I'm seeing this nigga like, mama said knock you out. I'm going night and I'm dance by that nigga like going pop ups and all this shit like and I'm like dude this feeling is crazy but I'm looking at LL while I'm dancing trying to remember my little dance moves I remember looking at that nigga like I want to be that I want to do what you're doing I don't want to dance for fucking eight hours anymore for fifty dollars I want to be on the, in the middle right there rocking across the stage and doing what you're doing that was that wasn't the first vision in my head but the very first vision was salt and pepper would push it. And I remember saying, damn, I want to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? In the mirror. Ah, you know what I mean? You doing your... Oh, God. I thought I was the shit. So I basically left the house saying, I always had the mentality since I was 13, for some thankful reason. Um, I, I wasn't blessed with a specific talent. I wasn't... I, I couldn't sing. I, you know when you want to be a star, but you don't know... What, the, what, am I, what am I going to do? Am I fooling myself here? You know what I mean? I can't sing. I can write my ass off. But I left the house knowing, with, with no plan for tomorrow, not knowing what's going to happen, not knowing that dancing is going to be the thing to get me into this rap shit even further. And, 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 and to just do it. So I left the house basically saying, I could do anything, anything, if I put my mind to it. I could do anything. Like it doesn't, it was always that drive. And I remember having that drive. I remember going at it, going to auditions every single day, me and my partner, Francesca. And the, the many rejections that came with dancing alone, which in, you know, in a very weird way prepares you for what you have to deal with tomorrow that you don't know that you're gonna deal with, you know? This, preparation I'm going through, that I'm, I'm trying to like understand why I keep going through these challenges and these challenges and it's, it's, con it's, it's this continuous, the joys that come with it, the highs that come with it, and the hope to say, hey, I'm here, I can do this, and the lows that came along with it, and the slam doors, and those people that are not along holding your hand saying, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to help you. There's no one saying, hey, I'm going to help you. There's no one, it's, it's, it's just people that you meet along the way that say, hey, you know what, this, this girl might have something, I believe in her. But at the end of the day, if I ain't believe in myself and bank on me every goddamn day, and me getting up off my ass and fighting for what I want, eh -eh, it's not happening. I wouldn't have the courage to even sit here as emotionally, as emotional as I am right now inside, even thinking about and talking about my life as far as, as a woman in this game that we call hip hop. Choke no joke, yeah. It's choke no joke, let's go. Choke no joke, chicka choke no joke. Choke no joke, nigga choke no joke. I know this industry chick with tough love. Yeah. When I got exclusives, I hit to all.